5-speed manual on a Japanese-made Opel Astra. It is considered maintenance-free, however, during Russian operation, official service mechanics recommend changing the oil every 90,000 kilometers. The clutch lives an average of 120,000 kilometers, and its service life directly depends on the driving style. The assembly is changed as a set, clutch basket, release bearing, and disc. After a run of 100,000 kilometers, it is necessary to control the condition of the CV joint anthers. It is better to replace the covers in time than to spend money on updating the Grenade. Six-speed manual boxes are subject to heavy loads and cope with them quite successfully. But with aggressive driving, the synchronizers of the third and fourth gears do not withstand. Repair costs from 9,500 rubles. But one serious nuance is connected with the Japanese four-speed automatic. To maintain the optimum oil temperature in the box, the engine cooling system is involved, and the coil located inside the engine radiator may depressurize over time. And then the antifreeze enters the cooling system of the machine. As a result, expensive repairs, an average of 65,000 rubles. After 2008, the Germans eliminated this problem. Engines. More than a dozen power units were offered for the Opel Astra over the entire production period. These are gasoline fours with a volume of 1.4, 90 horsepower, 1.6, 105, 115 and 180 horsepower, 1.8, 125 and 140 horsepower, and 2 liter turbocharged, 170, 200 and 240 horsepower, as well as turbo diesels, 1.7, 80. 100 and 110 horsepower, and 1 1.9, 120 and 150 horsepower. In the Russian market, only gasoline versions of the Astra were sold, and sedans were equipped only with 1 1.6, 115 horsepower, and 1 1.8, 140 horsepower engines. The base engine of 1.4 liters is enough for the Astra, but for fans of Polyhagen, it will still seem rather weak. But this unit is reliable and unpretentious in operation. It has a chain in the gas distribution mechanism drive, which will require replacement, from 7,500 rubles, only closer to 200,000 kilometers. In our conditions, they may ask for a premature replacement of the ignition coil, 1850 rubles each, and mass airflow sensors, from 4,500 rubles. Engines 1.6 and 1.8, Z16XER and Z18XER, respectively, are more often found under the hood of the Opel. They have a toothed belt in the timing drive, the resource of which was 150,000 kilometers, and since 2012 the officials recommend changing it after 120,000 kilometers. Along with the belt, it is imperative to update the rollers. A lot of problems can be delivered by the ignition module, which fails due to faulty candles. Breakdowns in the ignition sooner or later lead to the replacement of the module for 11,500 rubles. Therefore, we recommend checking the spark plugs at every maintenance, 15,000 kilometers, and, if necessary, adjusting the gap between the electrodes. It happens that due to the ingress of dirt, the diode bridge of the generator burns out, 25,000 rubles. At the same time, it makes sense to change its drive belt. The 2.0 turbo engine, 200 horsepower, is capricious in operation and very demanding on the quality of oil and fuel. The manufacturer recommends 98 gasoline. True, the 4 has nothing against the 95th. At risk, first of all, a turbocharger. To extend its life, after high loads, let the engine run for a couple of minutes at idle. Better yet, install a turbo timer. The issue price is from 5,500 rubles. Chassis and steering. The Opel Astra suspension is simple in design, McPherson struts in front, and a semi-independent H-beam in the back. There are no global problems but every 30 to 50,000 kilometers, the support bearings of the struts wear out, 3,000 rubles per pair, they become clogged with dirt and crunch when the steering wheel is turned. Front hub bearings are more often changed due to failure of the ABS sensors than due to wear of the bearing itself. Rear hub bearings, assembly, from 8,000 rubles, are more tenacious and serve up to 130 to 150,000 kilometers shock absorbers, 4,500 rubles each, start to sweat long before 100 but you can take your time with replacement. This does not affect their efficiency. In the steering of the Astra there is a rack with an electric or electro-hydraulic booster. The latter often fails due to overheating. True, when it cools down, it returns to working condition. Tie rods live 50 to 80,000 kilometers, and their tips, 
up to 150,000 kilometers, rack seals often leak. In order not to run into a pig in a poke, we recommend that you carry out a complete diagnosis of the transmission and make a test drive on versions with a robot. Not everyone will be satisfied with the EasyTronic operation algorithm, its frequent settings and whims in operation. And if you definitely need a car with an automatic, take a closer look at models with 1.8 liter engines younger than 2007, when the automatic transmission solved the problem with depressurization of the radiator. The engines are a priori reliable, and among them, the 1.8 liter is preferable, the resource of which is higher than that of other engines.